Hi guys and welcome again to this second part of our comparisons unit. The name of this second part of the unit is Let's Break Comparisons. Welcome. What is the objective of this second part of our unit? We're going to make comparisons and we're going to break them using superlative adjectives and nouns. In the last part, the last video that you saw, we learned how to make comparisons using comparative adjectives and nouns. And now in this unit, we're going to use superlatives to break those comparisons that we have already made with comparative adjectives. In this case, we're going to use superlative adjectives and we are also going to use nouns. In the last unit, we'll learn how to make comparisons with comparative adjectives and nouns. And in this lesson, we're going to learn how to break those comparisons using superlative adjectives and nouns. What is a superlative? Well, a superlative, it's also an adjective. Remember that we learned some adjectives in the last video? And now we're going to use superlative adjectives. Do you remember these three guys in the picture that we talked about in our last session? Well, these are Shirley, Henry, and Arthur. And as you already know, they are millionaires. They all have a lot of money. Shirley has $10 million, Henry has $8 million, and Arthur has $2 million. We can make comparisons between Henry, Arthur, and Shirley. We can say that Henry is richer than Arthur because Henry has more money. Or Henry is more elegant than Arthur because his clothes are more elegant. But we can also say that Henry, he is not more elegant than Shirley. And we can use a superlative adjective to compare Henry and Shirley and Arthur, but we can use it to break the comparison. Shirley is the richest of them because she is the person who has more money out of the three of them. And we say that Shirley is the most elegant person in the room because she has the best clothes. We use superlatives also to compare. We use superlative adjectives also in comparisons, but we use them to break the comparisons. Remember that when we use a superlative adjective, we have to use the before. Shirley is the richest person, and Shirley is the most elegant person. In when we use superlative adjectives, we also have two possibilities. We can use the and then the adjective plus est, or we can use the most and then the adjective. How do we know when to use which one? Well, we, it also depends on the number of syllables the adjectives have. It's exactly the same number of rules we use when we make comparatives. We have seven rules depending on the number of syllables the adjectives have. The first rule, the type of adjective is most one-syllable adjectives. When we have adjectives that have one syllable, we add est, for example, reach, the superlative is the richest, old, the superlative is the oldest, but dry. The superlative is the driest. The second rule here, adjectives that have one syllable and end in e, 
What do we do? We add st. For example, nice has one syllable and safe has one syllable. So the, the superlative of nice is the nicest and the superlative of safe is the safest. The next rule. Syllable adjectives ending in consonant plus vowel plus consonant. What do we do when we have an adjective that has one syllable, but it also, but it finishes in consonant, vowel, consonant? We double the last consonant and add E-S-T. For example, big, the superlative is the biggest. Thin, the superlative is the thinnest. But new, the superlative is newest. In the case of new, we don't double the double W. Next rule, two syllable adjectives ending in Y. For example, ha, pi, or fa, ni. What do we do? We replace the Y for an I and an E, S, T. The superlative of happy is the happiest. And the superlative of funny is the funniest. The next rule, two syllable adjectives not ending in Y. What do we do? We put most before the adjectives. For example, boring, it's a two syllable adjective. And patient, it's a two syllable adjective. So we use most and the superlative of boring is the most boring and the superlative of the superlative of patient is the most patient adjectives with three syllables or more we also use the most for example popular and attractive we use the most the most popular and the most attractive. And finally, the irregular adjectives. The superlative of good is best. The superlative of bad is the worst. And the superlative of far is the farthest or the farthest. These are the rules we use to decide if we use EST or we use the most. We can also make comparisons using nouns. Let's talk about Arthur, Shirley, and Henry again. Shirley has three cars and two yachts. Arthur has five cars and one yacht. And Henry has one yacht and four cars. And we can use the most to break a comparison with nouns. For example, Henry has more cars than Shirley, but Arthur has the most cars and Shirley has the most jets because Arthur has five cars and Shirley has two yachts. Let me give you some more examples of comparisons we can make and how we can break them with superlatives. These are some fellow teachers, some teachers that I know. Their names are Frederick. Fred, this is Frederick, this guy here. Uh, this is Susan. This is Thomas. This woman here is Amanda. And this is Timothy. Frederick, the guy here, is the oldest because he is 65 years old. And his partners are younger than him, so he is the oldest. Susan here has the most students in her groups. She has 125 students, and her partners all have less students, so she has the most students. This guy here is Thomas, and he has the most academic titles because he has two master's degrees and his partners only have one. So he has the most academic titles. Amanda, this lovely person here, has the most children. She has two daughters and one son, but only Frederick has one daughter. The rest of the teachers 
Susan, Thomas, and Timothy have no children. And finally, and as you can see, Timothy here is the tallest of all and is also the youngest because he is 34 years old. The rest of the teachers are older than him. So, this is how you can use superlatives, superlative adjectives and nouns to make comparisons, but also to break the comparison. Thank you very much, and let me know if you have any other comments or questions.